2019. Well, I mean, the first thing you have to realize is that we are not in government. So you have to keep that in mind. Yes, that's right? why the I asked, what government. would you be doing when you come to power? So, I want to point out two, three things to you. First of all, the idea, you can sit, you can sit. The idea of the Bharat Jodo Yatra was precisely to address what you are saying. I believe that regardless of which religion you are from, which community you are from, where you come from, you must feel comfortable in this country. And you, you should feel comfortable in every corner of this country. That is the constitutional foundation of India. Okay? Second, you are right that Muslims are under attack in India. This is not wrong. But you must also realize that there are many other people also under attack in India. Okay? Please look at what is going on in Manipur today. For four months, Manipur has been burning. Right? So you must not think that you are the only people under attack. All sorts of... Yeah, yeah, it is happening, of course it is happening. But it is happening to Muslims, it is happening to other minorities, it is happening to Dalits, it is happening to tribals, right? Because it is the attitude and the approach of the BJP. And this is something we are committed to fighting. And you are very well aware that myself and the Congress party are at the forefront of this fight. Right? So, that is something that is very, very clear. As far as your representation is concerned, and the representation of Ladakh and specifically of Kargil, I am of the opinion that democratic rights, rights of all individuals, rights to elect your own leader, rights to spend the money that is yours, are sacrosanct. And they should not be attacked and challenged. So on that, we are 100% committed and there is absolutely no confusion, right? Uh, what is going on in India, the purpose of what is going on in India is to basically take away the wealth of the Indian people. Okay, if you see, you are saying to me that there are no jobs in Kharkiv. Correct, I 100% agree with you. But I walk from Tamil Nadu to Srinagar, every single youngster in every single state is saying the same thing. They are saying there are no jobs. The single biggest issue in India today is unemployment. Do you read in the newspapers that unemployment is an issue? Maybe in, maybe in Ladakh newspapers. But in Indian newspapers, the Delhi newspapers, national newspapers, nothing. Right? So, these issues, of course they are specific to Ladakh and of course they are important for you. But you must realize that these are issues that are being faced at the national level, at the state level, everywhere. Right? And it is because the government of Mr. Narendra Modi favors one or two people and basically is aimed at giving the wealth of this country to those two or three people. The reason, the reason you are not being given your rights Right? Is because the BJP government wants to take away what is yours. There is huge solar energy potential in Ladakh. Correct? Right? They want to hand that to Mr. Adani. If you want to hear it very simply. And that is why they don't want to give you the rights. They don't want to give you the ability to decide your own government. They don't want you to elect your own local representatives. And this is a this is a national fight we are fighting. So you must have no uh, confusion about that. So what will Congress be doing when you come to power? Would you release those guys who are incarcerated in jail? No, 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 no. Listen, we are, we have to function according to courts, my friend. We cannot, we cannot function outside the legal system of this country, right? You, ha you have seen the bond of legal system. Uh, Please, you have to realize. You got disqualified because of the legal system. You well, uh, I, I have to operate in the constitution. In the constitution, I have no choice. If the the Supreme Court has reinstated me, if the Supreme Court had not reinstated me, I would have to abide by that decision. I mean, as a as a politician, 
those are the instruments that i have but what you are saying absolutely we are very sensitive to unfairness towards any community any group any religion any caste any language that is for sure hello sir uh, first of all on the behalf of student community and unemployment youth of kargil ke uh, we welcome you kargil and secondly congratulations for the successful bharat jyoti yatra uh, you really uh, did a 